So you've read the book, you've done the course, you might have even hired the coach and your life still isn't transforming or your business is still stuck. The weight's not coming off. Your relationship is still eh. There is one major piece that you are missing to finding the success that you desire. My name is Tiffany Toombs. I'm a trauma hypnotist and high performance coach. And in this video, I'm going to unlock that one piece for you. I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you are missing so that you can get the success that you desire. And I'm going to get you making moves today so that you are achieving your success even faster. Let's check it out. Now I'm going to talk about it later in this video. One of the mistakes is that they don't actually heal themselves. And I'll go into more detail about what exactly that means and how it holds you back. But I want to give you my seven day nervous system reset, which is where everybody needs to start their healing journey. This is a powerful routine to bring your nervous system out of survival mode so that you can truly start to thrive in all areas of life. It is the exact routine I use for myself and the one that I start all of my private clients on. I'm giving it to you today absolutely free. Just go to the link in the description or go to resetmysystem.com forward slash reset. So the first mistake that I see coaches making and I'm calling myself out here because I did this in the beginning as well, is they spend all of this time and money on the wrong things. They spend it on the logo and they spend it on a website without even fully knowing who they're talking to or what needs to be on the website. They spend all of this time figuring out the perfect font and the perfect colors for their business taking the branding photos and they spend all of their time and money there and then they run out of time and money and they're wondering why people aren't hiring them. Now, there are plenty of people out there talking about the power of branding and I don't disagree with any of those coaches. Your brand is absolutely essential to you getting clients. However, your brand is not your logo. Your brand is not the font that you use and it's not the colors that you get and it's not the headshots that you pay thousands of dollars to have somebody take. You are your brand and it's how you show up. So stop spending time and money on things that are not going to get you hired. You do not have a coaching business until you have money flowing into your business. And I know that that really sucks to hear, but that is the truth. You can have the LLC set up, you can have the logo, you can have the business email if you want, but you don't actually have a business until you have money flowing into your business. Before that, you just have a hobby. To be a business owner, to truly make an impact in this world, A, you have to make sure you're able to pay your own bills, and B, you have to be out there impacting people. That is where you need to put your focus. The logo, the colors, all of that, that's going to evolve as you figure out who you are. I created all those things in my business when I had no idea who I was as a coach. And so what happened was I found myself in a position where my logo and my business name didn't even really match what I was doing. My website didn't match what I was doing. And so people would be like, hey, what's your website? Oh, what's your business name? And then I'd, I was almost embarrassed to tell them because the two didn't align. It was like I was trying to force a square peg through a round hole. So get clients, figure out who it is that you enjoy coaching, who it is that you want to serve, and the other stuff will follow in time. The second biggest mistake that I see coaches making that stops them from having an infinite impact in this world is that they don't build their audience and they don't build their expertise within that audience. You can have the most amazing program ever. You can get the most amazing transformations for people ever. But if you don't have people who are watching you, how are they ever gonna know? It's like the saying, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it make a sound? We don't know. I remember I went to a conference once and Gary Vee was one of the speakers. He was actually a hologram speaker, which was really interesting because he wasn't there in person. But he talked about when he was a kid, he set up this lemonade stand in his neighborhood 
And what he did was he paid other kids in the neighborhood to man the station, to man the lemonade stand. And he would go to the major intersections in his community and he would watch where the drivers were looking as they drove through that intersection. And wherever, whichever corner the majority of the drivers were looking at is where he put his sign saying lemonade stand this way. And that was such an aha moment for me because I realized that attention is our greatest resource. If people don't know that we exist, nobody can buy from us. So you don't have to wait until your logo is finished. You don't have to wait until you've completely built out your program, put together your PowerPoint slides. These are things that I see people spending so much time and effort on and they're like, okay, well, I'll start posting on social media or I'll start putting out content as soon as I get my PowerPoints done. I'm going to wait until my website's done. I'm going to wait until you know, I have this program built out or I've recorded all the videos for this online program to start putting content out. Stop waiting. This is slowing down your progress. And like I said before, you don't have a business until you have cash flowing. Start building your audience from the very start. But Tiffany, what if somebody reaches out and they want to work with me? Then send them a PayPal link or send them a Stripe link to pay you. You don't have to have it all built out. That's actually a good problem to have. I mean, what's worse? Having an offer that's ready to go and nobody following you to buy it or putting out content and having people coming to you saying, hey, how can I work with you? That is what you want. So stop waiting until everything is perfect because FYI, it is never going to be perfect. I have been running some of the same programs for the last five years and I still update and upgrade them every single time. So nothing is ever going to be perfect. Let go of that notion and start putting out content. Start building your audience and showing your audience that you know what you're talking about. Now the last mistake that I'm going to talk about in this video is what I mentioned before that they don't actually heal themselves. The reason that people spend so much time and money on the logo and the website and the branding photos, they don't build the audience, blah, 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 is because they've got their own limiting beliefs that they haven't worked through yet. You have to work through your own stuff to truly have the impact that you're capable of having in this world. If you've got money beliefs or money wounds, you're going to limit how much you charge. You're going to limit how much you make. I know again, because I did this, I had money beliefs. I had a belief that if I made too much money, then my family would abandon me. My family has a lot of negative beliefs around money. And so I would unconsciously hold myself back, which meant for years on end, even though I was making multiple six figures, I was making that not fully showing up. I was showing up for four, maybe six months of the year. And then the other six months, I was just kind of procrastinating and, you know, not really doing anything that had any sort of impact in the world. So you have to work on yourself. Every level you go to, there's a new devil. This is a common saying in the business world. And it is absolutely true. For me, every new level I've gone to, I've had to overcome my fear of what the haters were going to say and people pleasing. Those are the two things that show up for me in different ways every level I go to. And so now that I know that that's my core wounds, then every level I go to, I can say, okay, is this feeling that I'm having? Is this behavior that I'm doing? Is that because I'm worried about what people are going to say? Is it because I feel the need to people please? Or is it something else? And because I have that self-awareness, I can move through it so much faster. But we don't know what we don't know. So if you don't take the time to regularly develop yourself, to regularly dive into different aspects of yourself that you've never looked at before, then you have no idea what's waiting for you when you ascend to the next level. So that regular personal growth, that regular personal healing and self-reflection is so incredibly imperative to having the impact that you are capable of making in this world. Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Cycle Breakers. This channel is dedicated to giving you the tools that you need to clear out the blocks holding you back so you can live the life that you desire. 
Now, before you go, as our special gift to you, we have our seven day nervous system reset. These are the exact exercises that I give all of our clients in every single one of our programs to help them regulate their nervous system, to make that inner work and clearing out those mental blocks so much easier. The best part, it's absolutely free. Just click on the link in the description below and you'll get instant access.